The Joe Lynn Braley Show, Episode 34, Get Real, Episode Number 8. Permanent Weight Loss, Do You Really Want It? Hello and welcome. This is JoLynn Braley, weight loss mindset expert and founder of The Inner Self Diet. And this is The JoLynn Braley Show. Join me on today's show as I go beyond what you think is your issue, go beyond the food and the weight and the number on the scale, and instead go to what the real issue is. What is the real issue? That's your mindset. Yes, mindset is 90% of the solution of permanent struggle-free weight loss. If you would actually, seriously, love to leave all of your food and weight struggles behind you, this means that your mindset must significantly transform and shift. And yes, I did say leave all of your food and weight struggles behind you, so this would include but not be limited to emotional eating, binge eating, night eating, stuffing, food obsessions, what you might call sugar addiction, and of course, the self-criticism, beating yourself up mentally and emotionally, black and white thinking, perfectionism. How about last supper eating on Sunday night? Any and all negative, unhealthy behaviors that contribute to your overweight body and contribute to your FAT mindset. What is an FAT mindset? That is a mindset grounded in fear, attracting thoughts, and that is the mindset that you have when you cannot stop overeating and you cannot lose weight and keep it off. What is good about knowing this is that then you know that all you need to do is change your mindset, change the 90%, heal the root of your lifelong food and weight struggles, and you really will leave all of that mess behind you. What does this mean then about diet and exercise? What it means is that diet and exercise is only 10% of the solution. How can you know for certain? Well, why don't you take out a piece of paper and a pen and write down all the specific names of all of the diets and the exercise programs and the exercise equipment and the workout gear, anything and everything you have purchased over the years in an attempt to solve your overweight problem. And then, after you make that list, write down what your results are from all of these things that you've done. Do you have the results of permanent weight loss? Are you living as a naturally slender person lives? Are you living without struggle, stress, and worry or deprivation? Are you living with ease and joy with food and with your weight and your body? When you have a weight loss mindset, when you are naturally slender, when you have the inner self programming, that you must have in order to live a healthy and fit lifestyle without any struggle then you end up living a healthy and fit lifestyle without any struggle but the inner self piece the 90 percent must come first why is that well one of the reasons is because it's a universal law universal law trumps everything universal laws are bigger than you they're bigger than me they're bigger than all of us and all of us live under them. You either learn exactly how to work with the laws of this universe so that you can drop all that struggle or you don't and then you keep struggling and one of those universal laws is the inner and the outer always match. This is why you have forced yourself to diet so many times and you've lost weight but you could never keep it off because you must boomerang back to match your outside to your inside. You can't have a thin, 
fit, healthy, feel good outside when you don't already have that on the inside because the inside is where 90% of the game is won or lost. All high achievers know this. Albert Einstein said that one cannot alter a condition with the same mindset that created it in the first place. Dr. Wayne Dyer states that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And where exactly does this change occur? It can only occur in your mindset. Zig Ziglar, your attitude determines your altitude. Mary Kay Ash, founder of Mary Kay Cosmetics, in her business materials states that your business plan is only 10% of the success that you can achieve as a consultant in the Mary Kay business. Mindset is 90% of success. This applies to your weight specifically. This is why 95% of dieters fail because all you've been doing is forcing yourself to do a little food diet when that's only 10% of the solution. And of course it's only 10% of the solution if it's healthy. We're not even touching on all the silly fads out there that you believe because you have that magical part of magical part of yourself that really wants to believe that there's some kind of a pill or a powder or a shake or a sprinkle that you can use that will help you lose weight without making any change at all in yourself, in your thinking, or in anything about your way of life. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's not going to happen, and that is, you'll never get permanent weight loss taking that route. So, if the only thing you get out of today's episode of the JoLynn Braley Show is that there is no magic, and that you've got to change your mindset, then that's great. At least you can stop blaming all those diets you've done, and you can keep doing the diets if you want to, but at least you know what kind of result you'll get and you'll know why it is that you can't stick with it. You won't be able to continue to live healthy and fit until you significantly shift on the inside. This is how it is for all of my clients. Anyone and everyone who has done the proven steps of the inner self diet has succeeded in struggle free weight loss. What is the inner self diet? That is my proprietary proven step by step system to permanent weight loss without struggle, deprivation, or force. And I mentor exceptional women through my proven steps of the Inner Self Diet. I also have worked with a few cool men. Dave is one of those men. He released 90 pounds without any struggle. He never gave up his pretzels. He didn't deprive himself. He simply used all of the tools and the transformation of the Inner Self Diet and he released 90 pounds. Did he do that overnight? No, of course not. The human body does not release fat that fast, which is one of your roadblocks right now. You want it to happen immediately, and it's not going to happen immediately, which is another reason why it's so important that you get a weight loss mindset, because an FAT mindset, the mindset grounded in fear attracting thoughts, the mindset that you have that is a match to overeating and overweight, that mindset keeps you in baby mentality, which is the mentality that buys the idea that you can achieve fast fat loss in a matter of days or weeks and that that will actually work. How many times have you done that to yourself? And maybe you have lost some weight, but then how quickly did you gain it back? So today's topic is permanent weight loss. Do you really want it? This is Get Real episode number 8 of the year. What is a Get Real episode? Well, at the beginning of the year, when I started out with episode number 1, the first week of January... Episode number one of the JoLynn Braley Show, I stated that each month I would do at least one Get Real episode, and that is what I have been doing. A Get Real episode is an episode that includes even more questions to ask yourself so that you get real with yourself and your results right now. Why is it so important to get real with yourself 
now? Because as long as you continue to delude yourself and tell yourself that tomorrow you'll lose weight and that you can figure it all out on your own and that you can just somehow magically fix this problem that you never have fixed, as long as you continue to do that, that's really the sickness of your FAT mindset that is keeping you stuck. Because the truth of the matter is, is if you could have achieved struggle-free, lasting success with your weight, wouldn't you have already done that 5, 10, 20, 30 years ago? I bet you would have. Why not? Why wouldn't you have already taken care of this ongoing struggle, the yo-yo dieting, the emotional eating, the binge eating, stuffing yourself, beating up on yourself, all of these unhealthy behaviors, being obsessed with food, obsessed with the scale, having the, the way you feel and how you feel about yourself based on the number on the scale. So if the number on the scale says ABC, then you're happy. But if it says XYZ, then you're angry and frustrated and depressed. Well, what kind of a way is that to live? Am I saying that you should not or you cannot lose weight and have a fit, healthy body? No, I'm not saying that at all. But my clients in the Inner Self Diet they transform at such a root level that they always end up sharing that what happens in their journey is the scale becomes a non-issue. Even though they still are losing fat and releasing all of that excess weight from their body, their focus is no longer on the scale and, it's, and their focus is actually no lo longer even on their weight. They still do release the fat, though, but that's not what it's about once you transform on the inside. It's hard for you to understand this now because of your FAT mindset and because you're so stuck in the struggle. And you also need to remember that words don't teach, only life experience teaches. So let's take a look at today's topic of permanent weight loss, do you really want it? Get real episode number eight. First of all, what is permanent weight loss? Permanent weight loss is the end of the battle. It's the end of your struggles. Permanent weight loss is not perfection. There are people who are naturally slender who sometimes overeat. The difference between those people and you is this. Let's take Thanksgiving for an example. A naturally slender person that's a person who either has never struggled with their weight or they have done the inner self diet and they have released all of their food and weight struggles just like Barb, Laura, Holly, Holly who used to binge eat out of control and released all of that therapy never never gave her the results of the inner self diet uh, Katie, Candy, all of these awesome people that I've worked with in the inner self diet they are an example of folks who, they're, they're naturally slender now, they have the permanent weight loss now. Another example of someone who's naturally slender, that's someone who never has struggled. For example, my business coach has never struggled with her weight. She doesn't weigh herself. She doesn't obsess about food. She's not a size zero zero either. She is very tiny. She's a petite lady. But... She's not uh, some kind of a, a stick, which is unrealistic anyway. And she's not at all obsessed with uh, the, whole, the whole topic. And so back to the example of Thanksgiving. A naturally slender person who overeats on Thanksgiving says to themselves, Oh, I feel uncomfortable. I ate too much. And then they don't eat again. They don't put food in their mouth again until they are physically hungry. What you do, what a person with an FAT mindset does, and this is what I used to do also. I, I, I know what it's like to be where you are. And I also know you don't have to stay there. But a, per, a person with an FAT mindset, you overeat on Thanksgiving and you tell yourself, Oh, I blew it. I'm bad. 
Let's see what else I can eat. How much more can I eat? Give me Thanksgiving leftovers to take home. I'm going to stuff myself. And then you do stuff yourself. And then you go home and you find everything else you can eat. And then you go to the grocery store and buy all the food that you've been denying yourself. And you put it all in your mouth. And you, you keep eating and keep eating and keep eating because you blew it on Thanksgiving. And you're no longer perfect. And so let's go gain 20 pounds over the holiday season and just keep going because I already blew it. And And then on New Year's Day, I'll just make a New Year's resolution, but there's no point of of making any changes now during the holidays because I already blew it, and let's just go eat as many gingerbread houses as I can find, and and just, you know, let's eat all the candy because as soon as January 1st comes, I'm not going to be able to have any, but on January 1st, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, I am. I'm surely going to do it, and then January 1st comes, you make your New Year's resolution, then you tell yourself, oh oh, well, today is actually a holiday, so why don't I start tomorrow on January 2nd? And then you say, oh, well, I already blew the whole year because I was going to make a New Year's resolution and I couldn't even get through January 1st, so now why don't I just wait until next Monday and start again? And then that goes on for 52 weeks. That's the difference between a naturally slender person and a person with an FAT mindset. So how do you get from the place of having the FAT mindset, how do you get from that place to the place of having a weight loss mindset and living naturally slender? Well, I can tell you without a doubt that the inner self diet is the solution for that and that will get you there. Let's look at this topic today, permanent weight loss, do you really want it? Because if you don't really want it, there's no point in doing the inner self diet, right? So, First of all, a question to ask yourself, and please get out your pen and paper. On every episode of the JoLynn Braley Show, I give you questions to ask yourself. And again, this is a Get Real episode, so you're going to have even more to ask yourself. And I highly suggest that you write them down pen on paper, write down the question, and then write down your answer. If you only listen to me, you're not going to get much out of this podcast. And it's totally free. Why not get as much out of it as you can? And if you do this on a keyboard, you will not get the the shift that occurs between the head, the hand, and the heart that occurs when you write pen on paper. First question to ask yourself about permanent weight loss. If I get permanent weight loss, what am I going to talk about and complain about? If I achieve permanent success with my weight... What in the world will I talk about and complain about? Now this is a real, hard-hitting, get real question for yourself. Because just imagine if you were to achieve permanent weight loss, that means that you'd have no more struggles with, with your weight. You wouldn't be dieting. So when you go to work or if you have your own business, you wouldn't be talking about the latest diet. You wouldn't be spending hours online each day looking at celebrity diets or hunting for new diet tips. You wouldn't be doing any of that. That's not what naturally slender people do. They're living their life and they're focused on creating the life of their dreams. So permanent weight loss, do you really want it? Would you really be willing to give up the story that you continue to tell about your failures with your weight, the diets that you do, the how hard you keep talking about how hard it is to lose weight and it's such a struggle and why is it that she over there can eat that chocolate cake and she's so skinny and she's healthy. What is that about? Why why can she do that? Well, I guess that I'll just have to keep complaining about my struggles. So permanent weight loss means the end of all of your struggles. So do you really want it? Do you really want to end all of your struggles? Something to really look at for yourself and really get real with yourself. Number two question. What will I use as my excuse if I don't have my overweight anymore? What will I use as my excuse if I don't have my overweight anymore? And I, I suggest that you make a list of all of, the, all of the ways that you use your overweight 
body as an excuse in your life. For example, how often do you tell yourself that you were rejected by that man because you're fat? And so that's why he didn't like you. Well, what if, what if you were to release all of your food and weight struggles, you did the steps of the inner self diet, you no longer were overweight, and he still didn't like you? Then what would be, what, you wouldn't have the overweight as an excuse. Maybe the guy just doesn't like you. What's interesting is that the inner self diet is not about how to eat or exercise. The people that I work with, they already know enough about that. They could teach a class on nutrition and fitness. They know so much. That's not the problem. The problem is that you're not able to follow through and do it and live that healthy life so that you can drop that fat and keep it off. In order to achieve permanent weight loss, you must have a significant shift on the inside. That has nothing to do with food or your weight. The reasons that you are overweight right now, those are life issues and mindset issues. That root of why you're overweight needs to be healed, and once it is, then you won't struggle any longer. So that kind of a person with that kind of a mindset, if some man didn't like her and she had a, a fit mindset, that person would not care if someone else did not like her because she would like herself. So that's just one example of one outcome of the inner self diet that goes far beyond weight and the number on the scale. But make a list of all the ways that you use your weight as an excuse instead of telling people that you don't want to go to an event, you say that you don't have anything to wear. Well, you wouldn't be able to use that excuse any longer if you were the, the size that you want to be, right? And you wouldn't be able to use your weight as an excuse to not go away on holiday or as an excuse to avoid sex. So if you were to achieve permanent weight loss what are all of the areas of your life that you would have to take full responsibility for that right now you are using your weight as an excuse for what about with your work life either your career or your business how often do you hide behind your fat and use that as an excuse for really going for it what if you were living in a body that was fit and slender and you actually loved your body? That means that you would be unstoppable and you couldn't use your body as an excuse any longer for the things that right now you're not doing in your work life. So we're back to the question, permanent weight loss, do you really want it? The third question to ask yourself, exactly how willing am I to change? Exactly how willing am I to change? And look at it on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being, no way, I don't want to change anything. I want to keep eating my junk food. I want to keep stuffing myself. I want to keep uh, being completely irresponsible and blaming my parents, blaming the fast food industry, blaming uh, my ex-boyfriend or my ex-husband, blaming the government, blaming... Whoever, uh, your doctor, I want to blame everybody and I just want to keep overeating. I don't want to take any responsibility for the results in my life. That would be a number one on the, on the scale of 1 to 10 of exactly how willing are you to change. Number 10 would be, I am so willing to change. I'm so excited about change. I, I would be absolutely over the moon thrilled to put to bed all of my food obsessions, my emotional eating, my binge eating, this is just ridiculous. I deserve such a, a, such a better life. I deserve to feel really good about myself. I deserve to, to be in love with myself. I deserve to be in like with myself. I deserve abundance in all areas of my life. I deserve to feel absolutely fantastic. That would be a 10 on the scale of 1 to 10 of how willing are you to change. And that person who is a number 10 on that scale, you also realize that you take 100% badass full responsibility for all 
everything, all results in your life, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you know that because you do that, that gives you the empowerment that you are the one who also has the power to change and that you don't have to wait for anyone or anything out there to change. It's all about you changing. You know that there's no magic. You know that you'll have to do radically different things to get a weight loss mindset. You also fully realize and accept that you don't know how to do it. So these are real, you know, honest to goodness, get real questions to ask yourself today. But again, it is get real episode number eight. And I expect that if you really are applying yourself and you're really writing these questions down, that you're getting a a really big benefit out of today's episode of the JoLynn Braley Show. Now, one more question to ask yourself. Exactly how much longer am I willing to wait to have permanent weight loss? Exactly how much longer am I willing to wait to have permanent weight loss? And write down the number of days, weeks, months, or years that you're willing to wait. Now this will correspond with your willingness to change in number three. So if you're at a one in the previous question on the scale of one to ten of willingness to change, then you're you're going to be willing to wait for permanent weight loss for 10, 20, 30 years because you don't want to change. But if you're a, at a 10, you're, you're 100% willing to change, then your answer to the fourth question will be, I'm not willing to wait any longer. I want it right now. And so then, finally, ask yourself this question. Write this one down, too, and then write down your answer. When am I going to step up? When exactly am I going to step up and get the help that I obviously need so that I can get a weight loss mindset? When exactly am I going to step up for myself and get the help that I obviously need so that I can get a weight loss mindset? Now this right here is the most telling question out of all of these questions today of Get Real episode number eight, the topic being permanent weight loss, do you really want it? The reason that this question is so telling is because if you pull back on this question and tell yourself, oh, I can figure it out on my own, well, then your FAT mindset is keeping you stuck where you are. Because if you could have figured this out on your own, if you could have gotten a weight loss mindset on your own, if you could have healed the root of your ongoing food and weight problems, struggles, battles on your own, why haven't you already done it? Also, this question will tell you how much you believe you deserve to have permanent weight loss. Because clearly, the quickest and easiest way to get it is to just do the same steps that others have already done before you, the steps that are proven to work. Work with a highly skilled mentor and coach who can be objective and see the things that you can't see, who can help you know the things that you have no idea that you don't even know right now. You don't, you don't even know what you don't know. Quickest and easiest way to get permanent weight loss is to hire a mentor, hire a coach, do their system, get it done. Of course, I do recommend that you, that you take action, quick action, decisive action with a proven system that actually works because otherwise then you're just wasting your time. Why would you want to invest in something that isn't even proven to work? So now that you've asked yourself these five questions, look them over and they will give you the answer. You're giving yourself the answer to the question, permanent weight loss, do you really want it? Maybe you don't. Maybe you'd rather keep dieting and you'd rather keep struggling and stay on the hamster wheel of diets. At least now you know why you keep getting the results that you keep getting. It's because you've never solved and healed what is 90% of the problem. And once you do that, then the, the healthy eating, the exercise, that'll all be a piece of cake. Sophia, one of the graduates of the Inner Self Diet, She said that she thought that the way that it was going to work was that once she got a weight loss mindset, she would 
choose the salad over the fried chicken, but she'd actually still want the fried chicken. She thought it would just make it easy to pick the salad, but inside she'd really want the fried chicken. Well, what she found is that she wanted the salad, but she did not want the fried chicken. Because there was no more struggle there. The struggle is when you want the fried chicken and you pick the salad and all you can think about is the fried chicken. Well, that's the opposite of a weight loss mindset. That's what you live with right now. But it was good that she she pointed out that that's what she thought her results were going to be going into the inner self diet. Holly, who released her binge eating that she'd been doing for over 30 years and no therapy had ever been able to help her resolve that 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 issue she was very skeptical going into the inner self diet very skeptical did not have very much belief in herself or that the step-by-step system would work for her and what I shared with her was well that's okay as long as you do the work do the steps do them the way I give them to you do them mindfully and consciously and you will get the results that you're looking for it helps to expect to succeed also and so she did all of that and she got the results if you want to release all of your food and weight struggles and you have found that in asking yourself these get real questions today that you really do want permanent weight loss you really are willing to change you're willing to start telling a different story it's okay that you won't be complaining about your overweight anymore and you're willing to stop using your overweight as an excuse you're you're excited about becoming so empowered in yourself that if you don't want to go to an event you just say you don't want to go and you don't have to use an excuse imagine what that would be like how would that feel and you really are willing to change then your first step is to go to discovery hyphen session dot com and fill out the application for the complimentary weight loss discovery session that's your first step and that is at discovery hyphen session dot com it is time for a commercial break and today's sponsor of the Jolyn Braley show is fearless fat loss dot com go to fearless fat loss dot com you can grab your free five-day e-course the title is is your mindset fit or FAT it will help you discover what's really been stopping you from losing weight for good and also what you can do about it you can grab that now at fearlessfatloss.com okay so today was get real episode number eight of the year and I certainly hope that you did write those questions down and you answered them for yourself. If for any reason you didn't, then rewind this podcast and go back and do it because, hey, it's a free podcast. Now, of course, the only way to heal the root of your lifelong food and weight struggles is to work with a professional mentor to have real-time communication. Everyone is an individual and you do need to have communication and that will allow you, it, depending on who you work with, of course, that will allow you to release your ongoing battles in, in just a very short amount of time as opposed to all of the years that you have been struggling. And in case you are not aware of exactly how big this problem is that you're living with, take that piece of paper right now and that pen, write down on that paper your current age. Okay, and now as you travel back in time and go back all the way through your memories, all the way back to your very first memories as a tiny, tiny child, come back up to your first memories of food and weight struggles, body image issues, any negativity that you had. Maybe somebody told you that you were fat. Maybe you were fat. Maybe you weren't fat. How old were you then? How old were you when you first started having negative thoughts about your body, about your body shape, about food? Maybe someone said you needed to go on a diet, anything along those lines. Take that age, write it underneath your current age, and subtract the two. Circle that number, and that is the total number of years of this problem that you've been living with. This helps you understand even further why those little food diets have never solved your overeating, your compulsive overeating, your emotional eating, your binge eating, 
your negative self-talk, your self-sabotage, all of that. A little food diet is not supposed to solve that big of a problem, whether you've been dealing with this for 20, 30, 40, or more years. It is a life issue. It is not an issue of food and weight. Your mindset is 90% of the game of achieving struggle-free, lasting success with your weight. Shoutouts. To get a shout-out from me on an upcoming episode, here's what you need to do. Go over to thejolynbraileyshow.com, click like to like our Facebook page, and I will give you a shout-out on an upcoming episode. Very, very simple. We only use first names. I know that there is a great deal of shame, guilt, and embarrassment in you and every, all the other millions of people out there who are running around overweight and overeating. That's another topic. I mean, each of those could be a topic unto themselves. And there are actually people who have emailed me and asked me if there was a way they could remain anonymous and follow me on Facebook. They feel that much shame about their struggles with food and their weight. Well, you need the inner self diet if that's where you're at. There is no way out of that problem without healing the root of it. And I'm not sharing this with you just to get you to invest in yourself and work with me. In fact, I don't work with everyone. That's why you must fill out an application at discovery-session.com to apply for a complimentary weight loss discovery session. If you are approved, if your application is approved, and we schedule a call, then we'll talk on the call. There's no guarantee of entrance into the Inner Self Diet. Not everybody is a fit for it. doesn't mean that you're a bad person or anything like that. It's just that not everyone is a fit for the inner self diet. So whether or not you ever actually heal the root of your ongoing food and weight struggles, that's up to you. It's your life to live, and I would just recommend that you get real with yourself about it. If you like the results that you're getting, keep doing what you're doing. If you don't like the results you're getting, you're going to have to do something radically different in order to get radically different results. There's no way around it. It's not magic. It's it's not a mystery. You you need to do something different to get different results. That's that's, you know, it's pretty simple. Uh, once you get a weight loss mindset, the easiest thing for you to do will be to lose the fat, to release the fat, and keep it off. That will become child's play for you. It'll just be so simple. You'll wonder why in the world you waited so long. One of the graduates of the Inner Self Diet, Laura from New Jersey, said that she had been following me for over a year getting my weekly e-zines, the Permanent Weight Loss Secrets e-zine, and she kept telling herself that she would somehow figure it out on her own. And she admitted that over that year, things only got worse for her. It only got worse. And that's how it works. That's how it works in this universe. When you have a problem and you don't address it and attend to it and, and heal it, you know, release it, it'll just keep getting bigger. That's why over all these years, your frustrations and your anger and your depression and your hopelessness, they've all just gotten heavier and heavier and bigger and bigger. And I highly recommend to you to take care of this before you snap and you just give up. You know, because that's not any way to live, to just give up and and just be slovenly and, and unhappy and and addicted to food for the rest of your life. I mean, you deserve so much better. Your life, you're supposed to feel good. You're supposed to enjoy your life. You're supposed to be living in the body of your dreams, loving your life. Things are supposed to work for you, but the only way that'll work is if you work for yourself. You've got to, you're you're the only one who can step up for yourself and do what needs to be done to get the mindset that will give you the body that you want. And when you do that, you'll also have the life that you want because you cannot separate your mindset from any area of your life. How, how could you possibly do that? That's why right now that mindset that you're taking with you into all areas of your life, into your work, into your 
bedroom, into your uh, spiritual world. Uh, it, you know, when you go on vacation, that mindset goes with you everywhere, just like your body does. And when you don't feel good in your body, people know it. People are more telepathic than you may give them credit for, and you're the same way. Another person doesn't have to tell you that they're in a bad mood. You know it, especially if you know them well. Well, all the people that are in your life know that you don't feel good in your body. You don't have to tell them that you don't. And then they can also see the results of your overeating, even though you do all that overeating, most of it you do in private. It's a misalignment, and, and you are so off track with who you really are. And, and that's why, oh gosh, that could be a totally, a totally other, another topic again unto itself. And I'm looking at the time, and this, this episode needs to be wrapped up so that uh, we'll, have, we'll have more to talk about on other podcasts. But I highly recommend that you don't just wait for other podcasts and keep listening to these while you continue to struggle. You can go over to discovery-session.com and apply for that complimentary weight loss discovery session now if you really are serious about putting an end to this struggle once and for all. All right, so let's do a recap of what you learned today. You learned what what permanent weight loss really is. You learned the difference between a naturally slender person, what they do when they overeat, and what you do. You learned whether or not you really do want permanent weight loss. Really, are you willing to change? You you learned how willing you are to change. You learned how willing you are to stop using your weight as an excuse. You, you, willing, you learned how willing you are to tell a different story and talk about other things instead of complaining about your weight. Uh, you learned that mindset is 90% of your problem and it's also 90% of the solution once you get a weight loss mindset. Also, you learned that positive thinking is not enough. That only hits the surface. If I shared that, did I share that with you? I hope I did. If I didn't, I just shared it with you now so you got an extra bonus there. It's important to know that positive thinking is not a weight loss mindset. Positive thinking is good once you have a weight loss mindset because that will help reinforce it. Okay, so be sure and go over to thejolynbraileyshow.com. Like our Facebook page. You'll get a shout-out from me on an upcoming episode. If you're subscribed in iTunes, go ahead and give the show a five-star rating. We really appreciate it, and we're here to help you break out of diet mentality, which I know this show does for you. Next week's episode, Why the Inner Self Diet Always Works. This is Jolyn Braley weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, and you've been listening to the JoLynn Braley Show. Head on over to fearlessfatloss.com to learn more, grab your free five-day e-course. While you're there, it'll help you answer the question, is your mindset fit or FAT, and help you discover what's really been stopping you from losing weight for good and what you can do about it. Here's to your best life in your ideal body.